Welcome everyone. Today we are building electronics for a simple slider without using a stepper driver chip or breakout board. We'll be needing the following. Some jumper wires, one 10k resistor, one button, four 220 ohm resistors, four NPN transistors, I've used the PN2222, four LEDs, one 5 volt unipolar stepper motor, I'm using the 28BYJ-48 motor, a breadboard and an Arduino. Connect the two negative rails of the breadboard to the ground pin of the Arduino. Then connect the two positive rails to the breadboard of the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Let's start off with the button section. Place the button on the breadboard. In the final slider, there are two contact points that will be closed once the sliding unit reaches either end. Connect one end of the button to the positive rail. Connect the other end of the button to the ground using the 10K resistor. Connect pin 3 of the Arduino to the intersecting point of the button and resistor. Now let's start building the stepper driver circuit. It's important to note here that the transistors must be able to handle the max current draw of the stepper motor. You can find this info on the data sheets. Place a transistor on the breadboard. For the PN2222 transistor, the first pin is the emitter. Connect the emitter pin to the ground rail. The collector is the third pin on the PN2222. Connect the lead to the collector of the transistor and let it hang. We will be using this to connect the stepper motor later. The middle pin is the base. Connect a LED to the base of the transistor and another terminal strip. Connect one of the 220 ohm resistors to the LED and to another terminal strip. Connect a lead between the resistor and the Arduino. Repeat this process until you have four of these electronic switches connected to pin 5, 6, 7 and 8. Moving on to the connection of the stepper motor. Connect the lead between the positive rail and the positive of the stepper motor. Connect the leads hanging in the breeze to the stepper motor. Ensure to connect the leads using the order found in the datasheet of the stepper motor. We are all done with the circuit, let's head over to the Arduino IDE. This program runs the stepper motor and decides what to do when the button is pressed. The program and schematics are available from the link in the description. Let's verify and upload the code, then head over to the program flow diagram. The program continuously checks to see if the button is pressed. The motor goes in one direction until the button is pressed. Then the motor will revert its direction and keep on going in that direction even when the button is released. If the button is pressed again, it will reverse its direction once again. In the motor control section of the program, it follows a sequence of sending a signal to the pins on the Arduino and in turn switches the LEDs and transistors on and off to make the motor step to that sequence. As you can see, the rotation of the motor reverses each time the button is pressed. The plan is to have two buttons on either end of the slider to tell the slider unit when to turn around. I've designed this circuit and program with a chip called the ATtiny85 in mind. In the next video, I will be making a circuit to program the ATtiny85 from my Arduino and briefly going over the mostly complete slider build. In the last video, I created an Arduino laser tripwire. That link is in the description. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. See you in the next video.